Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa Channel 408. Tea Time is an entertainment analysis show for those who are catching us for the first time. And what we do is we cover big stories and important news in the industry about your favorite personalities and also covers everything pertaining lifestyle. So basically why your entertainment and lifestyle go to station. Um, on this episode, we have a bunch of stories that are filled with drama that are going to be unfolding before our very eyes. But of course, I cannot do all of that alone. I have Ifelu Oshike and any baby, like I like to call, um, who, who will be doing the analysis with me today. So please grab anything comfy. Make sure you have your chocolate. Get comfortable because it is about to go down. Down, down, down. How's it going, people? I'm good. It's like, good, man. He's well woke up with uh, um, weekend vibes this morning. I think Just it's because it's December. <laughs> Happy New Month! Okay. And Merry Christmas in advance. Yes. All right, to the viewer. Happy New Month. Merry Best Christmas. of December. Yeah. So you can't yeah. smell weekend? Like, I'm not feeling the vibe? No. I just... Am I the only one? Yeah, no, I just weekend. came out the weekend. Like, hmm. True, today's Tuesday. No, I'm in the weekend already. I don't know. But when we asked you about your weekend yesterday, you said it was awesome because you were watching movies. Mm -hmm. It wasn't awesome after. So I used to watch movies. <laughs> yeah, I used to watch movies. Mm -hmm. I That's why you're still why. in the weekend vibes. I mean, we yeah. just finished the weekend. But I, I know, I don't feel like the week has run fast or... It's so going, slow, actually. Yeah, it's only Tuesday, since morning. Since Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> yes, it's still <laughs> <due> Tuesday. <laughs> but I can't believe it's Christmas. This year has been something else. Shout out to everybody who still has lungs in mm -hmm. there. You know, hey, I, went, I, went, I, went, I went for an event on Sunday, and okay. when the MC opened up, the first thing she said was like, I just want you to look at anybody next to you that is still alive in 2020. That this is not even that year where you start asking people, what have you achieved this year? Were you <laughs> able to get up to that business you said you were going to do? Okay. Were you able to do this? Were you? It's just the year to be thankful that, man, I'm still alive. I'm still breathing. Yeah. After all the craziness of the year, we're still here. Come mm -hmm. on, like, Strong. You really have to look at the person closely yeah. and say congratulations. Congratulations. You made it, like, man. man. It's one of those years when we all get, um, you know, spiritual. Look at your neighbor. Look at the man next I to you and them. shake him and say, this is your year. Hmm. <laughs> and shout out to everybody who's gotten a bit of a burnt from 2020. Either lost, mm -hmm. lost someone yeah. or true. like lost their job or their true. company. Like 20, I th I'm not really a big a fan of like all these like... Of salary. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not really a big fan of like Happy Merry Christmas and New Year and New Resolution. I don't really, I don't really, mm. I'm not into that. But I feel like this particular year, mm. I feel like I'm holding on to that because it reset to be nice. Even if yeah. legit, it doesn't really matter. I don't think the world knows the difference between it was man-made structure, obviously. But I feel like it's just nice to even be able to give myself that break of like, mm. can I reset? Because last year was a lot. But I don't know, are we still in 2020 still? Yeah. I've been in 2021 enough. for a long time. <laughs> I think I'm even in 2022. I'm I, still, I even tell people 2021. Like you, you've jumped to 2021. Yeah, yeah. this year did not really count that much. Oh, you're still in 2020? Yeah. You know, someone said... A lot said, can still happen, though. Hmm. Someone said the year what is can still so... Happen in 2020? I feel like we've seen everything. Man, mm. calm down. See, yeah, in the same happen. year, people bought houses, people True. bought cars, people... Where were you? You gave mm -hmm. me a long list yesterday. Mm -hmm. People did great things. So it's just being innovative and knowing what works mm -hmm. for you. It didn't work for for majority, so maybe that's why a lot of people. Yeah. But at least yeah. there, a lot, there are some people that some people are praying that, that COVID continues because it yeah. helped. Them. I'm telling you, oh, did it? Uh -huh. Reality TV star Leo da Silva has explained why he is ready for marriage. Um, the former BBN Niger double Wahala housemate took to his official Twitter page to reply a fan who came to him for saying he is ready for marriage shortly after tweeting that women should be feared. And I quote from this Twitter user, you went from fearing women to now being ready to get married, the Twitter user wrote. And Twitter user, I am with you on that one. I don't understand the jump. <laughs> anyway, explaining his sudden change of heart, the 27-year-old Lagos-born entrepreneur wrote in response, and I quote, fear women, not fear woman. Or um, more. <laughs> okay. Then the reality star has also made a case for men who demand that their potential partners be financially capable as they are. According to him, no man wants a burden. Please, Definitely. guys on the table, explain to me. Guys, Fair man. woman, as in like my people. Okay. 
Fair woman and fair women, what's the difference? I don't understand. I don't understand it. Uh, okay, so okay. I think um, it's a general term when you fear women generally mm -hmm. and what they're capable of doing, especially mm -hmm. when they come together. We know men know about the strength of women and all they can achieve when they're together. Okay. okay. So that's one way to look at it. And it's also a way to look at it that generalizing that, okay, it's not fear woman because we all have a woman in our life. Like mm -hmm. every man has a woman. We all have mothers. We're probably not so scared of our moms, but when you say women, that's generalizing it. Do you understand? So, yeah, mm -hmm. it's not about one particular person. But, so, um, he's promoting fear women. Well, but I he's think, not promoting I think fear a woman. woman. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, but now you should. He, he's fearing a woman because now there's a woman he wants to marry. That's wow. why he's ready Very for marriage. Are you, uh, do you understand mm. the story? Maybe you can, di you can speak it to me in, in, in women terms and I'll understand because. I'm speaking to you in men <laughs> Yes, it's not it's not entering. I don't understand this, Sha, but either way, he said he's happy, he's ready to get married and settle down and I guess that's He's just trying to say do not personalize this. It's not about you. It's not okay. about any baby. Don't okay. fear if fair, don't fear in your life. But fear so women. women. Women, gender. Don't fear one woman. Fear in your life, not women. <laughs> women. Huh? If I didn't learn all women. I don't know. It's saying don't personalize it. That is, <gasps> if you feel you shouldn't be feared, then you shouldn't be feared, but fear <laughs> women. That's <laughs> confused me the more. Okay. Eh? Leo, the, the more I'm trying Leo. To, I think you're doing a terrible Bro. job. Just I take you your L. You jumped too fast. Oh, when you no. were screaming and shouting, fear women, fear women, fear women. And one woman shot Pepe that, that time now. A woman is a woman. A woman is a woman. All together. I don't understand. Any and fair and okay but mm -hmm. so we should fear any affair and this or that but don't fear just this or yes, that or something else don't, don't, don't fear, fear one woman like you, you fear see that's my problem with all these motivational speakers but when you guys say fear men don't you guys say fear men men are yes calm. we do but we don't go two minutes after and then say i'm ready for married that's oh, the problem oh wow i've seen men as come and then you send me your wedding invitation okay. you are you joking you understand? the conversation, <laughs> the conversation today oh, is uh -huh. the space in between how he changed. Okay. Do you remember that that fair women was not the only statement he asked? Mm -hmm. Somebody even mentioned to him, because we talked about that, when they were like, are you sure you shouldn't generalize? And he was adamant. I wish we had the screenshots of that, if I knew we were going to be bringing up um, the past, past, past conversation. Okay. He even responded to that person saying, they are all like that. And mm -hmm. it's a la even made, made it a geography thing. I said, it's Lagos women, I fear all of them, blah, blah, and blah. Now that same man. <laughs> In not even up to a week, it's not telling me. Uh, it's, 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 over it's, a week it's, it's, it's okay, maybe it's over it's a week, okay. but it's not. It's not up to a month. <laughs> it's more than and a it, month. No, it's not. Nah, it's not. Uh, no, it's yeah, not because it's been it's since not. back. It's since I was back from being ill, and I've only been back for three three weeks. Mm -hmm. It's my third week that mm -hmm. we just started. So almost a so, month. So almost okay. a month. Anything can change and then, in almost you know, a month. You see, that's even fine. If anything can change, you're not even missing. You're not even getting my point. That's even fine. That you've not realized that there's some women, woman that. You that like, you know, that's not, that's okay. not the women. It's the, response, okay. it's the response for me that is very stupid and silly. Fair, Fair women, women, not woman. Hey, Bro, yeah. go ahead and sit <laughs> down. Leave Twitter. Hey, leave you the that? Did you post like no, motivational? Huh? Whatever. Hello. Is, he has found a woman really that is not women. How about that? Uh, hey, you okay. should have said that. You <laughs> <laughs> should have said that. That makes sense. That a makes woman sense. that is not women. You say, ah, I, I found a woman <laughs> that is not women. my Yeah, mind. you understand? Like, what are you talking well, about? Okay, but let's not forget what he said about um, don't be a burden to your partner. Mm. I think that is very, very... So many women, when you date a guy, you believe that, okay, it's supposed to provide for me, mm. it's supposed to get me close. Nah, it's not supposed to be that way. Mm. I think, what were we talking about? That were like... You have to be t teammates and mm. not backbone. I think that mm. <laughs> we, we should that bring that back to the screen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they came for us. <laughs> so no man wants um, liability in his yeah. life. As a woman, I think you should have your money. You should yeah, have uh, so absolutely. this um, respect is even going to be between two of you. Mm. So please don't. Do you think? Do you think some women get lazy when they yeah. start saying that um, you are capable Man of providing? Mm, yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. So I think some yes. women actually get. Isn't that natural though? Let's not lie. Because uh, even me, when I go, even <laughs> let's leave even women. When I go mm -hmm. home, okay. If I go home for too long, and I know that I'm not gonna like think about um, feeding. 
the tissue paper, the toilet paper, mm -hmm. it's somebody that bought it, there's somebody to clean my bed and all of that. Mm -hmm. I get very lazy. True. I get comfortable. All of a sudden, that side business that I wanted to, I've not touched it the whole time because I'm chilling but that, at home. I think that's part of what he's trying to tell you too, mm -hmm. that look, you can't be like that. The mm -hmm. fact that you know that this guy... Oh, obviously. Yeah. Like I'm making mental notes. No, like, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not disagreeing with that. It's, I was it's saying not, that as a response It's not romantic. To, I, was just, I was saying that as a Trust response me. to you when you were saying that women, it's not really a woman thing. It's yeah, very it's natural. Thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. That when you get comfortable, because sometimes eh, discomfort is what makes you challenged. If you're very, have you not seen rich kids that you're like, oh my gosh, this guy's not doing anything, True. nothing at mm -hmm. all. Like he's just I living his life being a rich kid but, because yes. comfort does that. And then you see some um, ni average Nigerian who has five businesses. She's mm -hmm. selling um, soap and comb, and then she's doing a shoe business, and she also has a nine to five, mm -hmm. and then she ties gilly in the weekend and does makeup and also makes okay. wigs. Like you, you, do you know what I mean? Like so, mm -hmm. I think it's very natural. That's why I, I was saying that to you because if you don't make it like women get comfortable, okay. it's a bit unfair. It's yeah. not really. I, you know, sometimes men they contradict themselves. Mm. They tell you like, okay, don't work. I'll take care mm. of you. And at the end, and you it so <laughs> <laughs> well, Guess what? Guess Continue, what? Continue. I like. Don't work. <laughs> I'll take, I'll take care of you. Of you. Mm -hmm. And later, she's lazy. You mm -hmm. don't do it. It's like, mm -hmm. what do you want? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. But they'll tell you, they'll tell you uh, if you're at home, okay. they'll say, um, uh, you don't go out. You don't have friends. Mm -hmm. uh, you have your life. Don't be dependent <laughs> on me. They start going out. Yeah, I don't like women yeah, who like go you out do. too often. To now, what are you wearing? <laughs> you're always with your friends. You don't Why have time you for the decisive? What do you want me to do? That's also a very good point. See, everybody needs to know that there's a boundary, right? There's a boundary to everything. Like, if I tell you, oh, you don't go out, you need to leave your life, and you now turn into a Monday to Friday thing, of course I would question you. Now, me suggest them to you. Now, no can't say leave me at home. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's that simple. I think say leave me at home, but go out, have fun, mm -hmm. but with wisdom. Children. Do you understand? True. Now, at the same time, I'll take care of you, I'll do this. Does it mean I'll buy your pants, your bra, your water you drink? The, the, Are you the telling me not to work it's and just okay. see that? If he has already made a good point, say, let's use wisdom. That doesn't wisdom. just apply to the True. females, but also the males. Let's move on to another oh. um, man in the in the news, but this time around, very different. It's mm -hmm. not just rubbish. And that's our self-acclaimed star boy, who is the recipient of the 2020 BET Soul Train Award. He won the award alongside American superstar Beyonce for their collaboration on the song Brown Skin Girl. That song is off Beyonce's The Lion King, the gift mm -hmm. album. The award show, which held on Sunday, November 29th, aired on BET and saw American superstar Chris Brown emerge top winner with four awards, including Best R&B, Soulmate Artist and Song of the Year. The ceremony was hosted by Martin Starr, Tisha Campbell, and Tichina Arnold. Now, the category in which, obviously, Whiskey was in was the video of the year, and that was by, you know, like I already mentioned, Beyonce, Blue Ivy, St. John, and Whiskey, which is Brown Skin Girl. The people who, I guess, lost to them were Chloe and Haley, the twins, on their video called Do It. And I like that song. And Chris Brown, Go Crazy, featuring Young Thug, which was in basically almost every category. And then mm -hmm. we also had H-E-R, her, um, for Slide, featuring YG. And then we also had Lizzo, for good as hell. And then Skip Marley and her again, how to also did well in this video, um, video for Slow Down. So yeah, obviously Beyonce and mm -hmm. Whiskey came on top of that one. And I'm happy about that. I feel like it's nice. <coughs> I think so. I think the, that, that song was really nice. I like what it stood for. True. That was a whiskey song that I can say, I held on to to mm -hmm. say, you, you still have me in your corner, especially because of this song. Obviously, I'm biased because I've, I've loved whiskey from a long time ago. I'll yabby more, but I'll still listen to his songs. Okay. But Brown Skin Girl gave me something, <coughs> something yeah. to be like, this is extraordinary. This is actually like a song with so much meaning yeah. that still had a vibe. It was still a banger. And I, you know, everybody knows on this table, sure. I'm big on like women issues one, and now I'm big on colorism. Mm -hmm. And that song really was subjected to that. Like, listen, despite everything that's going on and mm -hmm. what the society has said as to who's fine and what skin color is nice and what skin color isn't, brown skin girl, darling, you're doing really well. Sure. And that cuts across <coughs> the globe because um, colorism is not just in Nigeria, or Africa, and America. Mm -hmm. You see it in India and all of that. So, this song means a, a lot to the whole entire world. So I'm proud that Whiskey is on True. such a song, and I'm very happy that they're also getting awards for that. Do you remember when the song just came out? Like, it was everywhere. Every girl Snapchat video, <laughs> everyone's ringtone. <laughs> like, well, they, they deserve the award, yeah. though. But it was kind of difficult, because Lizzo was there. Yes. Like, well, they deserve it.
seven. Even you... Chloe's do it. That mm -hmm. I thought that was gonna yeah. get it because those girls mm -hmm. are doing really well. But then I'm actually rooting for Lizzo, by the way. Yeah, but... me too. Okay, me too. Brown skin girl, amazing mm -hmm. song, of course, amazing cinematography at yeah. the end of the mm. day as well. Even though we skid show just like a few seconds in the video yeah. and then yeah. it disappeared, mm -hmm. but it was a great video, and I think they deserve the award compared to every other video that was on, on um, nominated alongside mm -hmm. this um, <coughs> um, video. I think Brown skin girl was the latest for me. A big okay. shout out to Chris Brown as well, you know, because um, yeah. you what's know, your you thoughts get, on that song? It's everywhere. Go crazy. Yeah. It's cool. It's Do you so think? Crazy. Was, do you, okay, no, okay, let's talk about this category. Okay. Song of the Year. Did you think that that song was the song Name of one the song year? Name one song that is bigger. Banskin Girl. <laughs> really? really? No, Banskin Girl was, was Banskin Girl 2020. Yeah. I think it was 2019. No, this is for 2020. No, I mean, like, when was it released? Go Crazy was released in 2020. It was yeah. Brown Skin mm. Girl released in 2020 or 2019. Lion King, was it not this year? I'm not so sure Those about that. Uh, okay. But uh, okay. whatever it is, I think yeah, Brown Skin Girl, though, it would fall into a certain category. Not everybody can. But Go Crazy is for everybody. It's just for you to go crazy. I think it's a song of the year for me, Sha. Hey. Maybe because <laughs> I heard it a lot. And mm. I know a lot of people that like the song. And I also the like it The song is fire. The challenge. Like, but, okay. mm, the challenge. And, mm -hmm. You know, everything put together, I think it deserves mm. Song of the Year. But I, I can't think of any song bigger than um, Go Crazy. Yeah, Brown Skin Girl, maybe, but it's great. Brown Skin yeah. Girl. Do I want to listen to that 24 7 Maybe because I have energy, you know. <laughs> so I can't know. Me, I can't. You know, I can't. Have you heard Lizzo's song Good as Hell? Yeah, that's what yeah, that, that's song had, had a message. That's what I love about the song. Mm -hmm. Like, tell um, women empowerment, like, be mm. confident no matter what you're feeling. No the song with, the song with, life um, is too serious for us to be thinking serious, serious song. This one we just <laughs> man, girl crazy. What's the song of the year? Yeah. Like we just want to vibe. Like the song that women are firing women. What does mean that? What does mean that? Have songs that have vibes, but also have messages. Like you want, if you want to give the song of the year, it has to be a vibe song. Yeah, like the song that has vibes, but also have messages. Like you want, if you want to give the song of the year to someone, that song should be able to do everything. Should be able to give you vibes, should be able to give you messages. And there's a lot of songs that did that. Like go crazy with your business empowerment. Go crazy with your love you know life just hey, uh, relationship just, just go crazy messing. with your finances oh. ah, ah, abba you can go crazy with absolutely i don't know <laughs> i mean i don't know i at first when i when i first saw the first album um, um, song that that song that song one i was um, i wore that, that song when i was like mm, okay and then i saw it again and i saw it again and i saw it i'm like okay wait is this the same go crazy because that go crazy was nice but mm -hmm. i don't think it was like oh my god and then i i, I don't know okay anyway shall mm -hmm. it's, 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 we have to consider that it's also a black dominated um, category, award, um, award yeah. because I think they were bigger songs. I know mm. the song that Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber let out, even though I wasn't oh. like, Stop. oh my God, yeah, I'm in love with this song so, so much. I wasn't like <laughs> Why that. Why did you do that? Oh like that, that, that song was True. big. That Stop song, you? Yes, it You're got, not in love with it? I, I'm not like, oh mm. my geez, like I would die for this song. No, you I, think I, the song would die for <laughs> the <though. laughs> <laughs> song, I was like, oh my. Uh, yeah, it was okay. It was really nice. I still have it on my on my phone. I but put I think that feelings. song, especially mm -hmm. for 2020, was like the song of the year. Mm. They brought like the music video was made by fans around the world in During regards to COVID yes, and all of yeah. that. That song was huge, but obviously you can't bring that into mm -hmm. into this conversation because this is BET, which is Black that Entertainment. Anyway, let's quickly go on a real quick Soul Train break. Or not BET, madam. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with us. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Oh, yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. Like God DM sometimes from Malawi. Like. Sleeping early. Sleeping early. 